Hey guys, today's video is finally my breakfast haul video. So many people ask me if I'm gonna do a haul video and when I'm gonna do a haul video. And of course I'm gonna do a haul video. I bought way too many haul models to not show them to you. Since you know I'm from Germany, so I stayed in America for a week longer after Briarfest and I couldn't bring like all of the models in my suitcase. I brought like most of the models in my suitcase which was like crazy in my suitcase and carry on bag. And um, I shipped some models as well and that took a while and had a few problems with costume so but um, they finally arrived safely and yeah so there are all my models I got at Briarfest, before Briarfest and whatever. So um, they are like, I think they are 22 models and one doll. And um, this is my Simba Dupont Neuf um, celebration model and I won't keep him because he's not my cup of tea because I don't like vintage models and drafter aren't like my favorite breeds at all. So I already sold him to someone in Germany who will give him a beautiful new home and yeah but I will show each model separately because I don't really like this kind of whole videos on like the bed kind of thing. Um, I actually wanted to build them up like put them on my table or something but there were like too many models to put them on my table so I had to do like the bed Thing, whatever but I will um, like show every model separately with like a good light because I kind of built myself a ring light or whatever you want to call it so you can see like the model pretty well then in a good light so this is like kind of review of like all the models I bought and yeah I hope you enjoy it okay I will try to show the models like kind of in the order I bought them so this is like the first one I bought it's like my first breakfast purchase and I kind of got her I I got her like six months before Briarfest and she stayed at Gabby's house AK Briarstone so it doesn't really count as a Briarfest buy but she is like a Briarfest buy for me so she's really pretty and I don't remember what I bought what I paid for her but it was a pretty good price because she has like some issues on her um, Appaloosa markings you can't really see them there's like this this lightning stuff going on here but um, I don't really care so I think she's really pretty and I still will try to show her and yeah I'm glad I got her so next model I got in advance is the Poly Pony um, I think its name is Zatigo Lachigo something like that I think his name is I think his name is Tigo, I don't know, but Gabby picked him up for me in advance, so I got him like actually before Briarfest as well. Um, but I wasn't quite sure if they will be still for sale at Briarfest. But yeah, I'm glad I got him in advance. And his doubles aren't that weird at all, and I kind of like him. The only thing I don't really like is his tail, it's like really weird. Like it kind of looks like Briar just like cut it and tried to like put some texture on it, but um, it's okay. So, and I also got um, the rider and the um, tech and stuff, and we'll probably build up a performance scene. And I think it will. It looked amazing on the picture, so I hope it will look amazing um, in reality as well. So the next model I got is winter in met from the treasure hunt season thing and um, i really like him i got him for 20 bucks which is like crazy because he was new in box and i got him at the clarion on thursday i think and um he's really pretty i mean he's like really grayish on his face is some nice shadings which i really like because i've seen so many winters who are like really dark and have like really dark head and he is really nice shade on like the head and stuff because like all the rest is like black and stuff but um, I really like him and I'm so glad I got him for such a good price and um, I thought the 
the seller was actually like kidding me because I picked him up and there was like no price tag whatever so I asked her for the price and she was like yeah he's 20 20 dollar and I was like what the hell and Gabby looked at me and was like and told me when you don't buy him I will buy him and I was like okay I'm definitely buy him I also got from the same room at the Clarity Iran on Thursday he Dalgo and he was $25 which is like a really good price for him as well he has like a few wraps I think on his ear kinda um, but besides that he's really pretty and I really like him and I'm so glad I got him because he's way too pretty and I always wanted him for my silver conger and $25 is so freaking cheap for him so that was like a great day for me so like I told in like my Brian information video and like earlier videos about Briar Fest um, we did the Ninja Pit of Death, that means we dropped off Gabby's parent, grandparents on Thursday at 2 p.m. to get in line for the Ninja Pit of Death. And there were like actually like five people in front of us. So we camped like the whole night and it was like the crazy thing I ever did but it was like so freaking worth it. And it was like so weird and so funny and I couldn't really sleep um, because like the lamp light things on the street were like really bright and stuff but um, it was it was it was a cool experience I found such great deals in the Ninja Pit of Death um, I got like four models um, from the Ninja Pit of Death and actually want everyone else grab the model for me because I was like so confused what to do it was like so new for me. When I came in, I saw like a new inbox strapless um, for like I think she, she was like 30 or something. So I went to Gabby and I was like, Gabby, do you think that's a good price? And Gabby was like, Yeah. And so I ran back, but she was already gone. So it was like crazy for me because you had to grab everything, like everything. And Gabby was like kind of pro with like a whole family with her mom and grandpa and grandma which were like in the store as well and I didn't really know what to do because of like so freaking crazy but like everyone else grabbed me stuff because they knew what I wanted like her grandma grabbed me up this guy and um, Gabby grabbed me two models and her mom grabbed me one model so I didn't even like really grab a model by myself so yeah but start with this guy I've always wanted him and he is so freaking gorgeous like I'm kind of like thinking of he's like if he's my favorite Briarfest buy or my second favorite because I like him so much I've always wanted him when I saw like the first pictures of him because his mapping is just so nice and his color and shading and eyes and the details and I'm just so in love and I got him like new in box and um, with his bag and the um, certification things in there as well and he is so freaking nice and I got him for the original price which I think is $150 I think $125 I'm not quite sure but I'm actually happy that I uh, was able to bring his box because it's just so nice and looks so amazing and yeah I'm so happy I got him. So second model I got in the Ninja Pit of Death is Kimbia. He's the first in the Cat series and I think he's a cheater kind of thing on the Smarty Jones mold. And Gabby's mom grabbed him for me because I've kind of always wanted him. Um, because he looks just so amazing, so different, so unique. So um, I was looking for him at the Clarion but every one I saw was like 200 and I wasn't willing to pay that and her mom knew that so she found one in the Ninja Pit of Death or she actually found two and grabbed both from me and um, so I could like pick the better one and this is definitely the better one and I think this is my favorite Bar FS buy because I can't just look away I always he's such an eye catcher because every time he's he, I see him I have to look at him because he he's so he's so unique and um, he's actually um, a sample model um, because he doesn't have a stamp um, so 
can be told me that. So he's actually more worth than the original one. And I got him for the original price, which is, I think, 150 or 125 I don't know, I'm pretty sure I bought one for 150 one hundred for 125 So either Latigo is 150 or he... I don't, I don't, I don't remember. But he was like a good price and didn't pay 200 for him. And I'm really glad about that. And I'm so freaking happy I got him. So... If you get the chance to buy this model, you have to buy this model. It's... Ah, oh, it's way too pretty. Rawr. So the first model Gabby grabbed me was Lionheart because I have wanted him. But I wasn't willing to pay like $100 for him. Because some people sell him for like crazy prices. And he's like... Actually, I mean, he's I think he's limited, but he's like kind of regular run, so not really like that special to pay that much money for him. And I think I got him for 50 or 55 or 45, I, I don't remember, but like cheap compared to like all the other prices on all our sale pages and stuff. And he's so freaking gorgeous, like the glossy makes him even more pretty. And I never knew that he has like a dorsal stripes which I really like, but um, they kind of confused me because I always thought he was like a Palomino model kind of thing, so I think he's like a really light done, but his mane and tail are like actually wrong, I think, because I've never seen like a, a done with such, such a light mane, because they actually have like dark mane and tail and stuff, so, or darker, so he's like a little grayish thing, but I think it could be like a a little darker for um, a bay, but he's for done, sorry. So he is really pretty and I'm so glad I got him. And I've never owned like a spree model, so I was like kind of confused that there's like a really big gap between like his mane and his actually neck. So, but wow, this is cool, because like all his, his mane is so freaking gorgeous. Like how is it, it's blowing and stuff, it's I, I really do like him. So last but not least, um, Chicory, I think that's his name, and I never thought that I would actually own this horse one day, because he is the um, limited edition from 2014 from the um, big Easy Bash, which was at the Briar Factory Company, whatever. So um, he was like crazy expensive on more on sale pages. I think Gabby told me she sold one for like 300 because she got like she got like a second one. So um, yeah, I wasn't willing to pay that much for him. I didn't actually plan to buy him, but um, I think Gabby grabbed me like three or four of him, so I picked the best. And he was 175, which is like almost the whole for 300. So he was, I think he was like the most expensive horse I bought at Briar Fest. And um, he's, he's worth it, I think. He's like really pretty. And um, yeah, I like, I like his mane. He's, it's really nice shaded. And he is really pretty. Even though I, I'm not a big fan of the mole, but he's pretty. And he's so huge. So I need to find space for him. So why Gabby... Her mom, her grandma and I have been in the um, little pit of death. Her grandpa um, went to the other Briar store, I don't remember the name. And I've never heard of that before. And I've never been in that store. So, um, yeah, I don't remember the name. But they had like this special run guy. And I can't remember his name. It's like, I think it's like Carves. Thing, whatever of of something I don't know he was like always the one on the zebra mall for me and I absolutely adore him he was like 25 and that's I from my point of view way to live for him because he's so nice done his shadings and stuff is so freaking freaking gorgeous and I love like the paintings and stuff so um her grandpa picked up two one for me one for Gabby and um, I could choose, the, I mean they were like in box, so he came to me first and was like you can choose which one you want and I picked one and of course I picked the ugly one who had like some weird sticker things on his body and stuff so 
I went to the um, return tent the next day and got another one or a new one so this one is way prettier and yeah I can't wait to show him because he's like so unique and I really like him. I also got on Friday my first two special runs which was like completely new for me like the whole system of the special run line and stuff but um, I had luck and was like one of I think under the first hundred or something so I got um, this guy which is O'Couture and he turned out so pretty I've seen um, like so many models of him in person and I've seen one in person at the Edison Gallery on Thursday and the one at the Edison Gallery looked so awful and I've seen so many who looked awful as well because like the mapping on, on some models are like so ugly like so so freaking terrible done um, but I am so lucky that I got a good one I know that Jocelyn aka um, Transatlantic Ranch on Instagram and her YouTube name is Joe's Moon Wolf, I think and she got like a terrible one and tried to um, um, yeah, exchange him but they didn't took him back and yeah but I got like a really pretty one and I'm really happy about that and I like him I really like him. I like the mapping and stuff. I like the main and tail. I mean, it's not like really good shaded like with the main stuff. It's like only stripes, which kind of blend out in the middle of the main. But um, I really like his tail. You never could really see the tail on like the pictures where I posted. And he's like this float thing, which I really like. And um, yeah, so the tail is really gorgeous and. Yeah, the eyes are the um, ears are kind of weird if you ask me. I mean, it it looks they are realistic, but I'm used to like the other ears um, from the mold. They actually mold. They actually a very mold. So these kind of looks like mice eyes, ears for me. I don't know why I keep saying eyes, but I mean the ears. So um, yeah, but he's pretty. Then I got the surprise model. When I've been in the Ninja Pit of Death, um, I asked someone, or I think, no, someone um, in the Ninja Pit of Death, someone else asked someone in line for the special run um, what the surprise model looks like, or what, like, on what model the surprise model is. And she told um, the lady, like, the Lonesome Glory model, and I really like the model, so I was, like, really um, excited to see, like, the uh, four colors. So once I came out of the Ninja Pit of Death, I saw one girl with like a glossy Appaloosa and I was so freaking in love. This model is like gorgeous and um, yeah, I had like my special run time I think at 1 and I've seen like the f a few of the buckskin things paint, I don't know what he's actually, what color, what he's actually called. But I really like him as well, and I've seen a few um, Palino Cremalo. I think they call him Palino, but he's most definitely Cremalo. And I've seen a few of that one, but he had like this really scary eyes. But I kind of liked him. And the actually one I didn't like is the um, Chestnut Pinto thing. And guess which one I got? Yes, the Chestnut Pinto. And I was so disappointed because I like like three from four models and I've, of course I got the one model I didn't like. So um, I posted like a picture of him because he was like really nice. He was like, his mapping was like really crispy and stuff. He was like really nice, but I just didn't like him. So I posted a picture of him on Instagram and I found someone to trade him for the Appaloosa and I'm so glad. I don't remember your name, but thanks again for trading for the Appy because he is so freaking gorgeous. I think he is kind of like a sport a loser. That's that probably the breed I will show him with. And um, his mapping is so nicely done because they're like different Appaloosa mappings, and this one is like the um, like not I don't know how you call it. It's like um, it's not like kind of on the butt. It was like like more on the um, belly back thing of the horse so Briar hasn't really done 
a lot of these kind of Appleism marking stuff, but they did such a nice job. I like big compliment. It's so nicely done, and um, he's like so nice shaded, and he's of course way more beautiful and glossy because you see his shadings and stuff way better. But I'm glad I got one, and I'm happy with like a matte version as well. Then I got two models in the trade um, as well. I got this guy and the model I will show after him. And he is the, um, what does it say, 2011 surprise model at uh, Briarfest. And he's like this, I think he's called Spoon Gold, Appaloosa version. And he's so nice. He looks like really gold in this light. But in person he's like really nice. And I love him. I love him so much. I like the mold and stuff and he's 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 so pretty. I love his devils, which you probably can see in this light. But he has he's definitely he has definitely devils. And the next trade model I got um, is Sprinkless. She is on the lady face mold. She's she's really nice. I'm actually not a big fan of um like vintage and stuff but they kind of customize her with like a new tail and I think she has a new mane as well but I'm not quite sure about that and she's like way different on the surface compared to like other vintage models because I don't know if you like know what I mean but like most of the vintage models have like some weird stuff on the surface I guess it's because like the old system of like casting the models but I think she I think Briar like sanded the mold before they um, casted like the new version because this one is like really soft compared to like other vintage models so this one is like really nice and I like the lady face um, mold she's she's so nice even though I think her face markings are like kinda weird I don't know if they are like really realistic but um, I like her and she is a Briar Fest special run from 2009 so I can't really remember if I got like the next model on Saturday or Sunday but I got them at the Clarion and I will start with this guy he was the missing treasure hunt in my um, silver conger and I'm really glad I got him and he was I think he was like $20 new in box which was like a great price for him and since he was like new in box he has no rubs and stuff at all so he's like a really good shape. I also got um, strawberry fields for my um, silver conger and I think I paid 55 for him which is like a great deal. I don't know what kind of special run he is but he looks like kind of vintage like I think it's like the way they made like strawberry like round stuff. I don't know it's like a special way where I painted some models and I like him, he's really unique and I'm glad I got him. And the last silver I got is, I think his name is Skullring, Skull, 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 anything was like Skull, I don't know. And I adore this guy. I bought him for like 50 I think, and um, it was like crazy because I think he was like marked for um, 80 or something, so... Or 60 I think it was like 60 so I asked her the seller for like um, 55 at the clarion so she was fine with that so I um, like looked for my money and had just like 50 left in my pocket or in my envelope with my breakfast money so I was like here are 50 and I will I was like looking for like five more dollars in my um, pocket and she was like no 50 years are fine I was like, are you sure? She was like, yeah, he's yours. And I was so happy that I got him for 50 because I've seen so many like weird expensive for like 100 and stuff. So he's really pretty and I like like the skull on his um, bar bag, whatever. And that his kind of markings looks like um, a ghost and stuff. He's, he's so nice and so pretty and someone when I was like carrying her around at the clarion because it didn't go like a bag so I was like holding him in my hands the whole time someone was like talking to me and told me that 
they actually plan to make like um, the um, white markings of him like glowing in the dark, paint him with like the glowing in the dark paint, but they run out of the paint, so that's the reason why he's just simply white. But I still really like this model. I also got a pair of Kathleen Moody's resin wings as the clarion for um, ten dollars, which is like a great price because they are like actually new. Um, I think seventy dollars, and I wasn't like um, will to pay that much for like a pair of wings because I could like buy a model for that money. So um, these are like painted and they're like kind of broken off, but um, I still I still can use them, and for that price they're like great, and I can't wait to put them on one of my customs. I also bought on Sunday my single day tickets so I got these two guys. This one is um, Creme Brulee which is like really nice. I loved him in pictures but he has no devils at all in person. I've seen like a few models with devils but most of them doesn't have devils at all. But he's still nice and I love that they're like both glossy and uh, I think this one is called Crep Krieg Brew. I don't know. I, I can't remember his name, but he's like really nice as well. And like so many people I've already seen, he's like a mini version of the um, fire, uh, the real fire, because they have like equal mapping. She will most definitely stay with my fire because I actually don't really collect stable mates, but these two were like cheap, pretty, so I couldn't resist and got them at Briarfest. So the last two models I got are my Sunday Briarfest special runs and this one is Chanel and she is so gorgeous, she's like a big surprise for me um, because I saw her on pictures and she was like nice but um, when I saw her in person I was like so surprised because um, the pictures don't do her justice at all, like the pictures Briar posted. Um, because like her mane and tail are actually like really nice shaded with like grey and stuff. So it looks really realistic. And I think Briar did like amazing job on her with like all the hairs and stuff and mapping and dapples and she is so gorgeous. Like so gorgeous. And I love the mold. It's so freaking cute. I love the lip. It's 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 just so gorgeous and I'm so glad I got her and I got like a really good version with like really nice double they're like really nicely blend out and um, yeah so I can't wait to show her because he is she is way too pretty like like and I really like the horizontal stripings on the legs even though they are like kind of weird looking on this leg but she is so nice so freaking nice just look at her adorable lip, mouth, whatever. It's so freaking cute. And I love her nostrils and her eyes are really, really detailed as well. So I really like her. So the last model I got on Sunday is my surprise model. And it's the... Um, done buckskin whatever paint and I'm so freaking glad I got her him um, because he was like the one I wanted and I was like okay when I got like the Cremello but um, I don't have luck at all with like surprise ones so I was like sure that I will get like the chestnut again or like a second Appaloosa and um, when I opened him, like I saw the first thing I saw was like the black tail. So I was like really disappointed that I got like a second Appaloosa. But when I opened him completely, I saw it's the um, buckskin done version, and I'm so happy I got him. And yeah, it's, I'm I'm just I'm just so happy. Even though like his steps on this side are really nice and stuff, but they like kind of weird on this side because they aren't like really good like blend out he in this area but I still like him and he's so pretty and he has so nice shadings and stuff and the markings are just 
adorable, gorgeous, whatever it is. So these are like all the models I got at Briarfest. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this whole video of all my Briarfest models. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!